In this screencast, we're going to deploy a Django application from a Bitbucket repository to .cloud using the code chip. I've got a simple Django application called Codefish, which contains some tests. If you want to follow along the setup steps on your computer, just fork the repository. We're going to deploy this application to .cloud using the code chip. Let's sign into the code chip with Bitbucket. The code chip needs access to our Bitbucket repositories to be able to set them up. Let's allow access. We're back at the code chip. Now let's create our first project. The first step of our project setup is to select Bitbucket as our repository provider. In the list of my Bitbucket repositories, I search for my repo Codefish Django and select it. Now our repository is connected and we can set up our test commands. We select Python as our technology. This pre-populates the setup commands and the test commands for us. We can leave the setup commands as they are. We want to install our dependencies from the requirements.txt. Our application doesn't need a database, so we can leave the database setup commands commented out. We don't have to change the test commands either, as our tests can be run with python manage py tests. Now let's finish our setup and go to the dashboard. To start our first build, we need to add a push hook to our Bitbucket repository. Let's copy the hook URL and follow the link to the service hook settings of our repository. We add a post hook, paste the hook URL and save the hook. We can trigger a build for our application by pushing to our repository. Let's add the codechip status image to the readme file. Now let's commit and push this change. This triggered a new build on the code chip. We can access the build details by clicking the arrow on the right. Here we can follow the running build. By the way, if you ever need help, check out the code chip documentation. If you encounter any problems, contact the code chip crew by clicking on the support links in the top right or the bottom right corner. And a few seconds later, our build succeeded. Great! We see all the commands that were run. After a few initial preparation commands, the code chip ran the commands that we specified a few moments ago. We can inspect the output of a single command by clicking on it. So we can see that two tests were run. We've already pushed to our repository, watched our build log and got a green build. So we can finish this assistance. Now let's deploy our application to .cloud. We go to our project settings by clicking on the settings icon in the projects dropdown. And then to the deployment section. We want to deploy to .cloud. To retrieve our API key, let's follow the link to .cloud. We copy the key and insert it into our deployment configuration at the code chip. We want to name our application Codefish. The application will be automatically created the first time we deploy to .cloud. Now let's save our deployment configuration. From now on, the code chip will deploy our application to .cloud every time we push to our Bitbucket repository. Let's get our application ready for .cloud. We create a file .cloud YAML in the root directory of our application. In this configuration file, we tell .cloud that our web application is of type Python. .cloud also needs a WSGI PI file in the root directory of our application. I just copied the content from the .cloud Django documentation page. And change the app name to Codefish. I commit and push this change. And immediately another build starts running on the code chip. Let's go back to our project overview. I will fast forward until the build is finished. After the commands we already know from our first build, our application also gets deployed to .cloud now. And about two minutes later, our application is online. When we open codefish clemenscloudcom now, our deployed application appears. 
If you need help with setting up your own application, please use the support link in the top right corner or tweet us at Codeship.